Do you have any funny Alice in Chains stories? Well, you know, Jerry loves Halloween. And so, like, uh, when we were the first time, 606, and, you know, it was Halloween, he came in and everybody's got, like, these, like, inflatable, you know, those inflatable nylon costumes. Like, you know, he's a, you're a cowboy riding a horse, but your legs are the horses, you know, just walking around like that. It's funny stuff. But, yeah, no, it, you know, Sean and those guys are hilarious. And Sean, you know, you get him on a rant and he just won't stop. And it's, you know, it's like, all right, all right, we got to get back to work. But uh, all great guys. Uh, yeah, no, when we're, we're in the studio, we, we work. So, uh, you know, there's there's some shenanigans. You know, we like to, you know, roll dice in between tuning guitars. And that becomes hilarious in itself. So I guess that's one one thing. You know, just guys having fun in the studio. Yeah, man. No, I can imagine. That's funny. Uh, just offhand, I just remembered, I, I spoke with Ernie Bailey recently in Nirvana's old guitar tech. And he told mm-hmm. me that um, Dave Grohl, and like he's a good friend of Dave Grohl's, and he said like he Dave is like absolutely notorious for pranking people like all the time, constantly. So is is that ever uh, happening with you guys? Are there like are, like pranks happening and that kind of thing? Uh, no, not much. You know, everyone kind of like sticks into their own zone. Uh, let's see, like if Jerry's out there doing something like you know stretching, you know trying to get it back, you know to, to not you know ache so much, and he's making it a noise and I'll record it and then I'll play it back. And it's like, you know, what the fuck is that? And then it just starts laughing. Cause it just sounds like, you know, the porno or something. <laughs> That's hilarious. You should have yeah, a whole record yeah. of just Jerry's sounds. <laughs> yeah. No, I tried it. I, when I'm rolling, I see, and you know, when he's just, when he starts singing, it's like, it's pretty funny. It's like, you know, he's just putting his gum down, burping or taking a swig of, uh, whatever. And, you know, uh, you know, just trying to, he's letting go of his thing. It's pretty funny. That's cool, man. So, um, we were talking a little bit earlier about how Alice in Chains is very riff-based. Um, one of the songs you worked on that I really enjoy is Stone. That that, that yeah. song is very, very riff-heavy. Um, what was it like working on that particular song? I mean, like, it's like all of them. I mean, you know, I'm amazed each time, you know, Jerry just comes down and throws, the, you know, he just does that thing. And, and, and I see when when he loosens up or pulls a little too sharp or doesn't get there in time and I'll stop. And then he's like, damn it, fig. He's like, you know, and I'm like, you know, no, but you know, so it's just, you know, I, I hear where he's going and what he's doing and, and where it's what, the level he needs to be at and where he knows he's going to be at. And, uh, and he respects that from me, but, uh, you know, and particularly that song, cause it's so riff heavy and there's like, you know, there's a bunch of guitars on this side and that side and the center. And then, you know, the, and the, you know, the, all the little flavor guitars is what he calls them. That's awesome. Um, is it, is there, has there ever been any one particular song that was very difficult to record properly? No, no, no. Like when the sun rose, that was, that was, a, that was a little difficult because that was like a baritone acoustic guitar. And then, you know, we ha- this tabla player came in, and he had a, you know, I don't know if you ever recorded tabla, but that's kind of a wild instrument. And you sit down, and it's like all, you know, it's kind of, it's an Indian instrument. And uh, he, you know, he's a professor at one of these colleges around town, and uh, he came in to do it, and, you know, Jerry had to strum the thing out. That one was a little little tricky. And then getting the, uh, I think, then on Black Is Way to Blue, getting the, there's a vibraphone on there. And uh, that was a little sticky. And, you know, Sean was doing, trying to do it. And it was like, ah, you know, but we were at Henson. And Wendy and Lisa from, you know, Prince's, Wen- uh, Wendy and Lisa from the Power Gen, or not Power Gen, but from Prince's band. Uh, they had a little wor- uh, production space upstairs. And Wendy plays vibraphone. So she came down and she's like, oh, yeah, sure. And she did it for, for the guys. It was pretty fun. But, yeah, that, that was, those are the two sticky parts. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more because there is a lot more to come. All the videos on my channel are original. I'm the one filming, editing, and conducting all the interviews. So if you guys like what you see and you want to support, the best way to do so is honestly just to subscribe. Thanks for watching.